How in the f did you burn your ass? On my KM, riding at North Augusta. Third degree burns from riding my KM just like normal, like I always have for two years. It's just hot as shit. And because the, the creek was dry, I never went into the ditch to get into water, I guess. And it was just, and I wasn't even playing in the mud. Jeremy was. He had his bike and. Yeah, anyways. That's crazy. I was shutting it off and dosing my hat with water to keep myself cool. I realized that just like putting a chicken breast on a frying pan, that's insane. A few moments later. Look at you. Something's not right. Whoa, it's burning. <laughs> another episode of ATV we finally found a chance to uh, well Sunday it is work Saturday so pounding in the hours this week it's my first opportunity so we're gonna survey the damage here I know we got a broken drive shop but yeah she broke right here Schnapola. got to rotate these tires after that burnout which I'm really impressed with the wear of these because I put the hurt on them Inches later. That's barely even taken off in the center, right? Just rounding, just starting around. So, yeah, we'll rotate these tires. Plenty of lug left there for a few more burnouts, that's for sure. And uh, we noticed our back rack is coming a bit loose, so we'll tighten that up as well as when I was cleaning it. This is why hands-on cleaning is always good. I think I saw a tiny fracture, or is it just a scratch? No, no, it looks like it's going to fracture right across here on the exhaust mount. So I think I may have to give my buddy Andy a call because he's got uh, all the necessary uh, tools for TIG welding and uh, we'll get him to See if you can't help us out with that. So I put rubber on the inside and the out of mine. Get you in there close because GoPro sucks. So yeah, that's our task for today. So there's not much to this. We're gonna have to unbolt our diff, which means you gotta take these AR bolts and back them out just a bit so the nuts can clear right here. Right in there's just fine. like so and we'll slide right out like that uh, we'll cut those clamps there we go and that'll give us the movement slide the front diff and tip up a little bit and that'll pop right out boy that's got a lot of movement I should maybe check that nut because I have a feeling that might have come loose they put so very little grease in there I mean I know that water can penetrate but these are quite sealed well, you know. It's a soft, supple rubber and it ain't got no tears in it, but that's not a lot of grease, man. I'd be packing that bad boy rig full. Again, a little lackluster when it comes to the amount of grease. Yes, sir. I'm gonna pack them right full of grease. And yes, it's loose. So we slide on in there, and then we'll tip her on down, and then we'll come on back. And then we might have to... Uh... Here. That's where she sits. 
Get our diff bolts back up, and then we'll start dealing with all these pesky clamps, which definitely made easier with those pliers I got from Justin at uh, McKay Tool Sales. Same place I bought my cart from. Love that thing. I put on our sweet ass pliers. Rock and roll. We're ready to ride again. All right, so the young lad says, Dad, I need a truck. My vehicle broke down. And I says, well, you don't need a new truck. You need a used truck. And I sent him on down to JT's because they got a great inventory of uh, pre-owned or new vehicles, right? So he comes on down, they crunch the numbers. He comes on back to me and he says, Dad, look at this is used and this is new. What do you think I should do? Holy crap, they got him a really good deal on a brand new truck. And I actually had to say to myself, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I buy the new truck, right? So here we are at Thompson's. My young lad's in there filling out some paperwork, finishing some things up. And uh, yeah, check out this bad boy. We're gonna pull it around and and uh, maybe do a little walk around of it, boys. But uh, check it out. This is a 1500 classic. This is a beautiful looking truck. She's all blacked out. Look at that thing. So this should be exciting. We're doing a quick stop here. Congratulate my young lad taking a look at this bad boy and then uh, get out for a little bit of a rip. I've got the old 18 out. This is gonna be a wicked day. Hey, you got sensors as well. She does all the beep, beep, beep when you get to let you know when you're close to stuff. It's backing up. You got a decent reverse camera. You got a bigger den in it than mine, so you got a better, better view. 20-inch wheels, you say. I don't know what fit dirt like in No problem. Plus, you can just leave your tailgate down. Are you excited? Should be. I don't know. Ridiculous. Honestly, don't know what to think. You're going to be driving in a brand new truck. You get the, yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Coolers on the floor, bud. And then you get all your floor mats here. Look it. It'll flip out and make everything a perfect flat surface for you. So when you're sliding boxes and stuff, oh yeah, right. These sit down on the floor as brackets to retain the weight, right? Mm -hmm. Just awesome. Yeah, it's got quite a bit more that I would like. And then under here, if you unbutton this, you still have your compartment to store stuff in here as well, right? Super nice truck. Do not let your brothers drive it. Do not let your uncle drive it. Do not abuse it. The 5.7 has a shit ton of torque and, and horsepower, Logan, in a wet day like today. Well, this thing will break, break free everywhere. After test oh, are you <laughs> and Ken, That's an old Ford. That's like my old Ford, so. Logan, congratulations on your brand new uh, 2023 Ram, man. This is KL or look at this bad boy. Very nice, very nice. A few minutes later. We're going out for a rip today, boys. We're gonna meet up with Andy. Jeremy and uh, I got the old 18 in the trailer. She needs uh, a workout. You can't just let them sit So Actually, I don't think I'm gonna be selling it anymore because of these today's interest rates on homes It's kind of crazy so uh, What are the boys up to? Tire swaps, I see. Well, he just pulled this in. He figured it was mint, and he noticed there was a C boot, but boot gone. Okay. And I tell you, three minutes he's had that out. He had just pulled it in, <laughs> and he's had the, he's got right. the axle in. I pulled it out by hand. He's done that so before. Yeah. Well, I would imagine a few so times, I eh? Some, uh, I'd save my ass. I wrapped her in <laughs> wrap, and then I wrapped it with aluminum tape. I brought the 18, so... I did so. a whole bunch of research, and there's kits that you can buy, automotive kits for yeah, fan yeah. relay. If you got your fan not coming on or whatnot to judge your temperature, yeah. and they all use the same switch. So I managed to find it in a picture, and I zoomed in, and I seen the number on the switch, so I found the switch, 26 bucks. You can listen to this thing 
flick just from now. Yeah. Temperature. No so shit. So all you do is you set it at, I think right now these things, the fan kicks on at 207 and off at 203, which is what, 90? So yeah. I gotta turn it to like 70 degrees Celsius and it'll bring the temperature down to 160 to 170 okay. degrees. Okay. 26 bucks on Amazon, all you do is you stick that through the radiator fan, put a zip tie on it. This goes up into here, put it in a little thing to keep it dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this will work. This will work. This will yeah. work. This is and a good. Uh, lower the temperature so I don't burn myself. Yes, it's a good idea. Nice is this new? I don't remember this being on there before. Was it? It was. I just was it on there? Did you just put some new mesh or something in it? Cause it looks a little clean. Yeah, and the sticker. You know, I got that from oil. Okay. Well, if he sticks out now, bud. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it looks great. Still needing the oil gauge. My oil gauge starts at 20. So. School's well. I added another little bit good. of horsepower here too. See that? Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. good for puts, five. Puts good for five. five good, you got some use out of that. That works perfect. Get you guys in on this. So yeah, been a long time. Housing market's not quite the way I want it to be. And uh, like I said, many offers, but nothing came close to the 20. 17 cash was the most I had gotten out of anybody. And I really just didn't want to let it go for that. Gonna use the access for more of a down payment on a house, but I'm not buying a house right now. You'd have to be absolutely insane. Well, by the jumps, boys, I'm halfway nervous. I haven't rode this baby in so long, but she definitely needs a little bit of a a stretch. So, oh, it's a shame to get you dirty. You've been sitting there clean so long. Are you kidding me? You're dead. Not gonna do. Now we're gonna change that up. It's gonna fire this girl up, and we should do that while we're doing this. Let it warm. Get some heat in you. Fire in the hole. Yeah, but grab the control. Oh yeah, you're rocking now, aren't you? Take a pick, you don't want that. Well oh, that's a nice sound of exhaust system, I gotta say. One needs a battery pull. Like it just doesn't end with you guys. You see our cameras maybe aren't getting used enough either. That's ridiculous. Oh, you're sexy beast. I don't know why we ever thought of getting rid of you. Well, because we needed a house. Man, this thing looks sharp. I miss you, darling. All right, boys. Ha-ha. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect timing. Bit of a shake down. Let's see how she goes. Sorry for leaving you sitting so long, darling. I just said the same fucking thing. Thank you. 
Mamba's working it. Oh, God. We might need a little horsepower here, boys. Yeah, you carve that center up and dig out with them ruts. You dirty buggers. Well, I'll say goodbye to the nice clean renegade. Feller. Now that's something else that is. He just says, oh, you're not into playing chicken. I said, not with the damn backhoe, no. <laughs> no, no. That's a good thing. Yeah, she's an old girl, eh? How's that thing working for you? Still, still working. How do they work? Oh, they're pretty wild. A lot of maintenance, but they work pretty good. Are they hard on the drive train and stuff? Or? And if you are, then it is. But if you pick your battles wisely, as long as you're in the soft stuff. So but, how do they compare? Like you're all pretty well rubbered up. Well, for the day, sloppy terrain. We're gonna go into the back oh, of we're Switch and go for mud. Yeah. Doesn't just no, rain. Kid, no. <laughs> no, I, I would never <laughs> ever. <laughs> Jesus. So that one, that one there is about twenty grand. Yeah. Hey. That seriously, it's about twenty grand for that for everything that's in that one. This for the one, tires. No, the whole bike. What right a job you guys got. I hear oh, I these girls sell their feet pictures. Oh my God, I've heard that for years. For a million. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd sell you a feet picture of my feet for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll work our way down to the feet. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's nuts, though, eh? Yeah, it is. So True. I got about, got... about 5,000 into this one, and my son built that beast for like about four. Yeah. So you don't have to. We no. can play with the big boys. That's with right. Less so if now, you, want. you guys go up north and. I, your... Yeah, I'm from north of Savin there at Cloyne. So. Yeah. Well, Generally, you kind of talk like you were from north of south. Yeah, yeah probably, uh, eh? Bigger likely once you get your coat off, you got your dinner jacket. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but up there, you know, every every snowmobile trail, the four wheeler trails in the summer, they come to a swamp no matter which way you go. Oh yeah, yeah. But there was always some pretty neat country over there. Oh, there, there really right? is. Yeah, absolutely. Just with all the topsoil in the middle of the field. That's chicken shit. Oh, chicken I didn't even shit. see it there. Good eye. <laughs> I was, now, see, before I said anything, I should have said, why don't you go over there and climb on that, eh? <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good, well, you guys better get going there to burn daylight. Yeah, right. we'll jump off the road day. here. You have fun. You get stuck in the mud, don't call me. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> That's great. Case looks like it's in pretty good shape, to be honest.
just the nastiest shit. Or you're gonna have to pull me out. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah, on this end. You pull him out and I'll go full tilt. Jumbo right there boys. We were eating there though, right to the very end. Look at the trenches. <laughs> <laughs> 